Good morning from Mahé. I'm here at the beach which I scouted in the last video. The first one and I already found a nice composition here which is pure luck because I didn't follow my own rules which are when I'm shooting seascapes and also other landscapes first to scout and then also to do some scouting with the camera so looking for compositions and if you plan a morning shoot like I did today this scouting with the camera also has to happen the day before or when there's light and yeah this morning as I arrived it was still quite dark and I was a bit lucky because the moon was yeah, nearly full so it was bright enough to find something otherwise I would have just stumbled around in the dark taking high ISO shots trying to find a composition that's worth shooting so I was a bit lucky so found this composition here which I can show you So I have those palm trees and the rocks around and then with the incoming tide the water is rushing up the beach and yeah this looks quite nice and I didn't have a photo with some decent palm trees in it yet for, for this seashell trip so I'm quite pleased with this composition and the sun will be up in this direction and this should give me some nice warm light on those rocks and palm trees later. But for now, I just have to wait a little bit longer and also I have to try to stay dry. If you look at this, here comes the next wave. And yeah, I'm quite lucky with those rocks in the front of my rock, which already break the waves. But yes, the tide gets a little higher, I guess. I might have to abandon this position, but let's see. So I've now finished photographing this cove here and I now head to another composition which I actually scouted on the other day. And this is you no know, typical seascape. It's in the jungle. And yeah, I thought it might look nice in early morning light. So I'm gonna walk there now and yeah, see if I can get a nice photo from this. The photo I got here at the coast, I think it's quite okay. It's a postcard shot. But unfortunately, there was no dramatic light, so no clouds in the direction I was photographing. Also, the sunset wasn't too exciting. I'm not sure the tide will be less tomorrow and the days after, so to have the water rushing around the rock like today, I'm not sure. I think I have to return tomorrow again or the day after and give it another try hopefully with some better light but now let's move to the other dire uh, not direction to the other composition So I'm out of the jungle again and yeah, I didn't film at the second location I was talking about because it was like a sauna. It was humidity, maybe 100%, 35 degrees or 40, I don't know, but it was so hot. And yeah, I had already problems operating my camera in those narrow confines. And also I'm not sure if the photo will work out. I mean, it looked very nice as I anticipated, but capturing it somehow, I'm not sure. Now I'd say it didn't work, but I really, I have to see the photos on the big screen and see what I can make out of it. But there was a lot of stuff involved, focus stacking, exposure blending, and yeah, we'll see if I can put it together. Then I'll show you. If not, yeah, well, 
I show you the photos anyway, so you see how failure looks. But yeah, for now, I'll call it a day or a morning, head back to the hotel, get a shower and then a breakfast. I'm totally wasted now. And yeah, those early morning shoots here on the island, they start out so nice, it's cool, or at least 25 degrees, you can call it cool here. And then once the sun is up, you start to melt. And this morning there was no wind at all. And this was nice to photograph the palm trees, but it was really a pain now. So I'm not sure if there will be another video to this series. Maybe, we'll see, I have three more days and I have to do a little bit more scouting and yeah, maybe I find something which is worse, well, worse, <laughs> worth sharing. I can't even speak because of the heat anymore. <laughs> so yeah, till then, see you.